I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a Rodent. Peter Quill, tell the Rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I. Don't. Got. No. Units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am watching you, tree. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 7,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of sure. Real Guys, I think we should hear our group for once. I am He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for yeah, it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Close. 
close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Whoa. <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one. Minor adjustment. <sighs> <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> he can't be serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. find some backwater world and go off grid for a while. Novacor ain't gonna chase us forever. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because you're constant complaining, Des? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled. But we will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbender. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons. Not all axes are meant to cut down trees. <laughs> The lady won't hurt you either way. I'll make sure of that. Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? Paramitar did have a nice forest, because it was dry. Could all have been avoided if the rodent had relinquished his hidden cache of units. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? At least 43. That's how many times I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. I still have my doubts. It is not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime. About three years into my sentence. Wait. Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were. And they also weren't. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... 
gladiatorial games and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out... He could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll see you around. machete-wielding goons? I believe they were hatchet-wielding goons, and they were after Peter Quill. Who cares about the hatchet, guys? It wasn't raining, and we weren't about to be selling one of us. Bet we could have made some money if we'd stopped by nowhere first. Will you please stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? Let's see. At least Quill had the good sense to hide my loot crate before Novacore started nosing around the ship. Why does this thing look so... I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it. While I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a tor. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. 
She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line, that I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, the rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, uh, I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it... Controls me? Uh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm... Um... Sorry, you had to go through all that rocket. For real. I hope you all like walking, because this is gonna take a while. But you think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Cheer up, rodent. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. Why? Calm down yourself. You love rain, you flarkin' plant. That's what I want to do after this mission. I don't know. Uh, after we pay this fine, let's see. He's gonna say Contraxia, Contraxia again. Contraxia? Who cares if I'm predictable? Contraxia's got nice weather. I still believe it is a mistake to sell the tree. I am Groot. Ha! Yeah, that's right. Maybe you're the mistake, Musclehead. That does not make sense. Maybe Groot misspoke. You could say he, uh... uh. Made a mistake. Hey, Groot, you think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left.
I hope you ain't just browsing. Really? Nothing at all? All right. Of course, it had to be raining. I hate wet. Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. I'm Groot. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. Do you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I'm Groot. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm Groot. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am. I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows, if this thing does have your language in it and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Whoa, glad Corel didn't find that on top of the Space Llama.
I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle, it is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't bode so good. Jacket, all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. Uh we won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. Go Space Lady and Hellbender's Rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitari trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking rich. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady Ape is so powerful, why does she live on this? Oh! That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. right off! Good advice! Mark! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! Yeah, keep work live! Yes, 
should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. The thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready! around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk. Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Shall I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. I'm going to scout ahead! Try not to kill yourself on the way up! There they are! Wing controls! 
All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Just trying to stay ready. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. And if we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it. First, what about her sister Nebula? I forgot about the blue harlot spawn. Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous. Can we focus here? You're frightened of monsters, Peter Quill. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside. Was Lady Hellbender's fortress. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> Yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. This clairvoyance assassin. Oh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! What about you, Drax? Worst monster? Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's just gonna say, the rodent. Don't give him the pleasure. I was not going to say that. Okay. Fine. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. 
It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. What do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No! Very well! Peter! It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of sharks! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum! But I think he's making them up. Blocks. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bagging flock holes! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want 10. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Hi, Groot. For the bridge, Rocket. If you even place up, people. Incoming! <laughs> yes, I know we're in a fight! <laughs> we can fly these beasts with strike from any helmet! Max! I'm not calling you bad, but. Now is the time to strike! Incoming attack!
Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Look around. There must be a path here somewhere. Why are we so sure this is the way? Drax, I... You were not ready for the monsters beyond these vines. Agreed. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units up today. He doesn't have 50 units. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. She possesses flying creatures. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Sektar Nine. Ha! That, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. Maybe. Or maybe she was real cozy with the bugs. <sighs> Ridiculous. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her job. one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? No. Nope. Are we even sure this is the right way? Yes. Now what's the hold up? Here. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being brood of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and plan B, okay? Feeling ready to move on? Just go. No, you just go. And go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. He does it. What the fuck? Uh, Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move.
catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. Yeah, I got it. Anyone know what that is? A monster! Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. That is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Mind picking up the pace? There you go. so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right. I'm pretty 
sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It's a reactor. Anything you can do with that busted reactor unit rocket? Oh, yeah. Tons of stuff. Just not moving. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Ah. Maybe this Hell Lady is some old war hero and she can get Nova off our backs. I wouldn't bring up the war. How come? Those of us who took part are not eager to relive this madness. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. Fortress. Any bodies are still in there? All mummified and stuff. If they are in there, they wouldn't be mummified. The environment's too damp. There you go, bud. So maybe they are plant food. By the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Collector. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. I'm just saying it shouldn't take this long to get to her. I am being constructive. This is how I motivate. Well, it's clearly working. some sick satisfaction from seeing this thing buried in the ground. Had a few run-ins with Nova Corps rocket? More like run fronts. <laughs> These things can turn on a dime. Meant for getting in close to dreadnoughts, but also makes them hard to shake when they're chasing you. being completely soaked. Perhaps the storm will have abated. At the rate we're moving? Looks like a few cables are all that's standing between the wing and a makeshift bridge. We need something to get up to those cables, Peter. Do you see anything on the wreck that can help? Need your muscles again, Drax. Probably oh, here. What is taking so long? Are we doing something with that rusting hunk of metal or locked into weird plants, bro? Come on, they're pretty flark. Can you get up there now? Should only take a second. This brings back memories. Impressive. See, that was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I helped in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind pummel treetops. Here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. It took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer! Thanks, Drax! Looks like there's a way down here! Well, you gotta see this ship! Behold Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. What's Captain distracted up to now? 
Glasses, they I've only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, it pulls scud like this. Just, could you, just please look down the wall. Let me, I, well, I just want to see how they tick, otherwise, it might as well be magic or sorcery. Guys, DNA is some kind of morphing animal or sorcery. Here we go again.
need to get up there. I'm thinking we can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Rocket, can you extend that cannon? With my brute animal strength? No! Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Impossible. It will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a while longer? You try holding it for a while longer. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. You've got to find a way to lock it in place. Uh, I cannot hold it forever. I did it. Impressive, Peter Quill. Now we gotta get the next one out. Drax, can you drag out that higher cannon? Impossible. It is too far from the ground. Drax, could you, uh... Send the Abomination. It enjoys scrounging through refuse. Flark! Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, Shikari ship, full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah. Is you okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat that Shikari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Flark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing. Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah. And dry now, too. see another one of these ships again, it'll be too soon. On that alone, we are agreed. Gamora, can you clear us a path through that junk? Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! I used to believe that the rodent had the most impressive firearm in our group. Oh man, another murder tentacle. Careful, it might be playing dead. <sighs> Why does it not attack? Perhaps it is dead. Poke it and find out. Oh! That is not a happy monster. Well, at least it left. Back to its brood mother, Lady Hellbender. Oh. Yeah, I doubt it, Drax. Hey, you think they look like a bunch of tiny rockets trying to get out of the rain? You're a cool dude, Groot. Hey, uh, since we got a sec, I know you volunteered for this, but I want you to understand that I don't really think you're a monster. I mean, you're super tall and intimidating, and I think that's why this is going to work, but I think you look freaking awesome. I guess the rest of us must look pretty weird to you, huh? That better not have been a comment about my hair. Uh, employee evaluation? Did you pass? That's confidential. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor?
Cleaner. Anyone but Jack. I just heard that she's fair but terrible. Make of that what you will. It suggests we have some room to haggle. Unless she decides to kill us. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but is too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Quill's the greatest explorer I ever met. Could you move a bit to the right? Why? Your big butt's a nice windshield. You may shelter yourself behind my buttocks. Thanks! my house from here what are you doing up there scout type stuff scouting looks like we uh need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it excellent work peter i sure hope that buckless beast ain't running back to mommy to tell on us should have aimed for its head, Gamora. At least I took an appendage. What did you do? Hey, that thing is, like, seriously broke. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me if it just keeled over and died somewhere in the jungle after all that damage I caused. You... Come on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw... Touch me again, and I paint these cliffs gray. Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's got to be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There is little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Ugh. Where is it coming from? Oh, what the fuck? Ugh. Not talking. <gasps> yep, definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will break this. <gasps> that is disturbingly fragrant. <sighs> I am clenching every orifice right now. That's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Whoa! <laughs> okay, that got my <clears throat> blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as scud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work on your taste, but The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our, with our monster peacefully walking beside us. We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle 
Gamora thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. I don't want to admit it. Groot's got a point. The odds are totally against us here, Quill. Dude, relax. We need to have each other's backs out there. Me and Groot always got each other's backs, Quill. It ain't helping this time. I know. But if we stay united, we can get it back. No one's winning this on their own. Now, who's with me? I feel seriously, seriously Peter. Motor. Gross! Its tail is living with ice! Best keep your distance!
Oh, first rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flirting planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Halbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even Death herself. I can't believe you just said that with a straight face. No, it ain't. What did the tree say? He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. Huh. of special trained to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. You stole them. He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. Say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. Most that can't be true. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. All because of one lousy source. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a kind of bumpy, chaotic way, but we've still got a plan. So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady A? We're gonna fight a monster queen? She would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. It's gonna go fine. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther. 
farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a flock in infinity bridge, is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh! Right! The cage. The point of even getting the flark thing is looking like we mean business. Group, you ready to squeeze in? Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one that I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why?
Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Mom. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. We can still do all that stuff. Or some of it. Tomorrow. You're always telling me to get out of the house more. A movie theater does not count as out of the house, and you know it. Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you, I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No, of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. 20 bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Don't you dare touch that dial. Leave that alone, I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. The longer you wait to get that gift, the more likely I am to change my mind about the movie. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent.
Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Sky is clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I know it sounds crazy, but Mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? At last! Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. Try it, lady. I got 12,000 volts with your name on it. I'm sure you make a great point, Gamora, but I gotta go with Rocket. For reasons. Ha! Eat Scott, Woberry. And I mean, I know what I'm agreeing to, but just for everyone else, can you explain that again? Yes. Uh. After we sell out, we sneak back in and use my tracking device to find him and bust him out. Lame. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all-around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm Groot. A talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got an no name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, <laughs> like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. No, I stand correct. Those ain't Shi'ar. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin' kidding me? Look at this place! It'll take forever to find fruit after we sell them. 
Commander Quill expects you to use your insect device. Bug. What's the matter, Rocket? Getting cold feet? No. Relax, Rocket. We've got your tracker thing, right? Uh, don't exactly draw us a map, Quill. It's more like a, a hot, warm sort of thing. You mean hot, cold, right? What? The Kaleran skull. That is truly a priceless tree for gold. A woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. You, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's competencies. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not claim you are free. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. You, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I say, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of it. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarv 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature.
Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean... no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Groot, he's the best monster you could buy. Rocket Drax has this. Name your terms, then. Fifteen thousand. And you stay. Whoa, you want to buy Drax? Not buy. Invest. I could use a warrior like you at my side. I have other commitments. Shame. <laughs> we could have had such fun together. Twelve thousand for the Flora Colossus, then. Twelve thousand is not Not enough. that bad for a Flora... whatever deal. Twelve thousand units it is. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. The tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean that our threat. Some of my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just a robber. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax, what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. But don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for Groot. And us.
hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. We compare in Scuddy father figures? Because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Ah, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. Now the Ravagers. There's a bunch that knew at a party. How'd I wind up stuck with you lot instead of joining them? The Ravagers are dishonorable killers and thieves. We're literally on our way to steal from Lady Hellbender. This is not a theft. It's a rescue. The throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. That's not what I said. Not Pimp's Rocket. And the plan is going just fine, as is. Still, he could have strung her along a little, gotten us closer to Groot or something. Not use my sexual magnetism to set them. Spoken like someone who's never dated. Not everyone has to trick someone into a date. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me. This baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that time on Ansara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, Muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Sakaar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. I was not hiding. Yes, you were. Admit it. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying. Have a little faith, Woolberry. My tech built them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. I thought about signing up with the Ravagers for a bit. Am I good, or am I good? Those are the same options. I can't believe we haven't seen a single patrol. Tracker says, uh, come on, you skeg. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. We are down here. Hellbender used some sort of rising stairs. There's gotta be a way of activating them from ground level. Come on, buddy. Do something. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just, uh... Groot ain't moving or nothing. Perhaps he is asleep. He's probably just in a cage. If we can't find a switch, maybe we can get access to the circuitry itself. Maybe there's a control panel inside there you can hack. It's possible. Can't you just do that flippy thing and get up there, Gamora? Even I've got my limits. All right, Drax, try to clear that rubble. And watch. Let's see what's hiding back there. Think you could have made more noise with that? Of course. But you did not ask. Are we certain there is, in fact, an elevator? All right. I'm sending the schematic to your visor. Just follow the wiring and tell me which junctions to switch. Primary and secondary relays are connected, you Zarnooks. Your tone conveys negativity. It means if one fails, they both fail. That does seem negative. Uh, here? Done. Cool! It changed, I can see it! Doesn't take much to impress you. Ah, oh, this thing is a mess. There's wires everywhere. Have you seen the Milano? Switch this. Done. Ugh, these ground wires are just tied together. Lucky I don't get fried. Do not die in that hole, Rodent. You'll be unable to retrieve your corpse. You're all heart, Drax. 
My heart is only a small component of my anatomy. You said it! This one. Whoops! Yep. I believe those are monster mating calls. Okay, that's a little freaky. Okay, here. Rocky, did that work? It's half powered, but I don't got enough juice to flip the circuit yet. There, keep it like that. I can get up to the throne now. You better hope that panel actually works, because I'm out of things to tinker with down here. Of course it'll work. See? Nailed it! That is the wrong elevator. What? what? He's right. Groot went down on the other side. Well, it's the only one we got, sweetheart. Call me sweetheart again. Look, I'm sure they both lead to the same place. Your voice does not convey certainty. I'm mostly sure. Sit. We're almost there. I gotta say, this is going pretty smooth. Kinda nice for a change. Please. You get bored if it was all smooth sailing. Remember the cargo run for the Hanchi? I remember you nearly jumping us into a black hole. Where's my point? The exciting bits are what stick with you. What the piece of scut? Right on cue. It's not that. Something's wrong. Heads up, more guards. I would give a wide berth, Peter Quill. Oh, come on, you hunk of chunk. Flark. Anyone else got a bad feeling all of a sudden? Rocket, keep it down. Stuff it, Quill. Groot's tracker just went dark. You said we're almost there. I'm sure he's fine. You make sure he's scut. Groot! That could have gone better. Could have gone worse. At least he didn't wake anyone on his way. The rodent has tiny padded feet. Anyone else thinking Groot's tracker may have gone dark because they... No! Don't even think like that! It is more plausible that the tracker was discovered and has been destroyed. Well, that's... better, I guess. And yes, I'm sure. Wait. Thanks, Drax. What's with this place and no railings? It's like they got the architect from the Death Star. I am not familiar with that installation. We should probably split up. Let all these things loose. 
doesn't seem so bad. They're like pets. Like pets? <laughs> Spoken by a woman who ain't spent enough time in a cage. I want cages have bars. Expecting more creatures than this. Did you not see the skylight? It looks like there's tons more floors like this below us. Museum all over again. At least these beasts are well cared for. Prison's a prison. Rocky, we found him! Over here! Bro! Easy there, bud. I'll get you out in a flat. Whoa! Hey, let's not turn him into kindling. Stand back. I will breach the perimeter. It's too thick. <laughs> Too thick. Who knew? That's it. Just like the Arago drop, bud. On three, two. Ah, <laughs> oh, that dashed witch stripped you down to your bark. You know, we'd have showed up sooner, but uh, we will toast. Good to have you back, Root. Now all we need is an exit. Um, I guess Groot knows the way. Say something. You okay, Groot? Shut it, Quill. What did I do? You're the one who insisted on this stupid plan. Now that freaking monster queen has... I don't know. Perhaps the tree has been bewitched. Hey, come on. Talk to me, bud. What did that Badoon Flarka do to you? Oh, crap. Guardians of the Galaxy. You fools thought you could cheat me and suffer no consequence. Groot. Which one of you thought it wise to entrust your absurd scheme to a Flora Colossus? You call him friend. Yet you ignore his very nature, overlooking the fact that he is... The worst liar in history. I told you, he can't just pretend to be monstrous. To his credit, he kept your secret for almost an hour. Lady Hellbender, let us settle this honorably. I will face you in combat. Honorably? Your offer is worthless, Destroyer. There is no escaping my wrath! I can work with that. Dweller! Feast upon them! Monster. Well, let's make it truly dead. This 
aim on it! Go get them! Easy! 
it! You can slice it! Help! All right! We're making progress! The beast has learned from its mistake! You must feed my pets. I think it's trying to heal! about that. Ah, 
mine, guardians of the galaxy. She will hunt us to the end of the universe. Who gives a scud? We got off that mud ball with the money, didn't we? Only after the talking tree betrayed us. I am Groot. I do not speak tree. Tree. Hey, you got a problem with Groot, you got a problem with me. Whoa, 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 whoa. One problem at a time. Lady Hellbender will seek her revenge. Mark my words. Then she'll have to get in line. First, I gotta call Corel. The sooner we get this fine paid, the better. Yeah, so we can go back to focusing on being broke. That's weird. Is money all that you think of, Rodent? No. I also think about bombs. And booze. <gasps> bombs made out of booze. Nikki! Is it true? I really want to go. There's something wrong with the connection. Did you twist the thingy? Yeah, no dice. Nikki, is your mom around? I really need to talk to her. She's with me. Inside me. After you left, we went to the quarantine zone. I sunk aboard and there was dark fog. Did you try narrowing the band? First thing I tried, it's gotta be something else. I'm losing you, Nick. Can you put your mom on? I knew you were my dad. I didn't really like her say it was a miracle. I think something has happened to the girl. Yeah, it's called she's Novacore. Can you fix it? <sighs> yeah, I'm yeah, right. keep your star pants on. Right. I'll go check the array. I'm bring her back. I need them all back. I just have to. Confiscated a llama thingy. A llama. What did I say? Who gives a flying scut? The gold domes didn't get rid of it, and now the array's fucked. I promise we'll get it fixed soon. Yeah, just like you promised to get your girlfriend to go easy on us. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's not fair. You know what isn't fair, Quill? Being the only one who actually seems to give a scut about the Milano. Look, guys. We need the dock to fix the array. Luckily, I know a guy on Nowhere has got the parts we need. And he can get rid of that Nova track cheap. No, we cannot abandon the child. Her behavior was erratic. The llama thing you chewed the wires, Drax. It was probably just a bad connection. And if we remove the tracker, Corel will make sure the entire Nova Corps fleet is on alert for us. Gamora's right. We made a promise. I made a promise. See if you can pinpoint where Corel is. We pay the fine. Quill, are you freaking kidding me? That way, we don't have to keep looking over our shoulders for Nova on the next job. If there is a next job. <laughs>